So, most of you guys that have been watching me for a while will remember this. That's a weird, not nice feeling. Bye, girl. Good morning, guys. Assuming you're watching this, this first thing in the morning, and welcome to Hitchers Agri. Um, don't forget, before we start with all this, if you do like this channel, don't forget to go down there into the description and have a look at our shop for any merchandise or any of the other stuff that uh, my wife makes. It's really nice stuff on there. It's, it is worth a look. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget the good old grubby thumbs up. And if you enjoy the channel and want to see more of me, I don't know why, don't forget to hit that subscription and don't forget to ring the little bell so you get to see videos, I try and do a weekend one, uh, try and do a midweek one, just a little catch up and I try my best to try and do a bit of a nice video for the weekend which is up on a Sunday. So, I'm not quite sure what I've titled this video yet, but it's basically what happened to the Smurf, where did she go, what am I doing for a tractor? as you can tell I'm back on my empire of broken things we don't speak about that this year next year maybe we'll get the bailing video uh, yeah unfortunately um, because there's the stuff on the guy's yard that's not his um, the stuff on the yard that's sign written up for other companies I couldn't do any any filming on there he did let me take a few pictures. So, I suppose this really is the moment you've all been waiting for. Have I sold me 8830? And if I have sold me 8830, what have I bought to replace her? So I have still got her, although she is looking in <laughs> quite a sorry state at the moment. Um, yeah, so I thought basically I'd just have a bit of a chat about 
the pictures you've just seen go back through them and just sort of give you an idea of um what's going on and also for guys in interest i thought i'd uh talk a bit more about that shot of into the back axle of the tractor and, and what's actually in there so without further ado and are we all a little bit happy with the fact that she's staying I'll start by chatting about the um, put that picture back up of the the back axle uh, unfortunately I'm an idiot and don't know how to put the picture up and talk about it although yeah I probably I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to figure that out so it probably will be the picture back up and then I'll have a chat about what's in that back axle and then we'll go on to talk about what the actual problem is um why she's now so much longer than, than she was when she went in there with Arthur bits missing so i hope you find this bit interesting i will try my best to be explain things as well as i can but bear with us all right so first picture we're looking at here this is what we call the trans axle of the tractor if you look sort of what was on this side of the screen that was that was the gearbox the funk power shift transmission and then the other side is what we call the trans axle right in the trans axle it's quite interesting there's a there's a lot in there you first think because it's a back axle all that's in there is your drive shaft through runs to your diff that runs to your half shaft that drives your wheels also in that get that back end if you look at it if we start start at the very bottom of the the unit very bottom is what they call your drop box that is what takes your drive drive from the back of the tractor underneath the tractor to your front axle we come up to the next bit with the shaft sticking out uh, uh, that's your drive to your wheels that's running down through into your into your back axle uh, if you come up a little bit more there's like a big cylinder there that's your clutch pack for your PTO you've got a shaft which is actually the shaft that the pump the pump sits on you've got a shaft that comes out of the gearbox through this pump that's the issue um into the clutch pack i think the drive is also taken off that through gears down to the high pressure hydraulic pump that pump runs um like your hydraulic spools for tipping trailers it's also what runs your linkage controls for lifting and lowering in implements there's a lot in that back end so yeah that's that's what sort of well it's the back of the tractor So these next few pictures, these are, um, this is the issue. Right, I'm gonna stop creaking around in my seat. So what that is, it is a low pressure pump. This pump is, supplies oil to drive quite a few things. The ma main thing it runs is the clutch packs and the gearbox. These are what give you gear changes interesting point uh i learned today off the guy that that's doing the job the funk power shift transmission is 900 kilos heavier than the dual power crash box uh which was an option on the 30 series and was the standard fitment on the tws but basically what what what's actually happened here is the 
the pump basically you've got a metal housing and then you've got the the star shaped piece that sits in like the drive ring that that's what turns to give you your oil flow and then on the back of there is a bearing which the bearing keeps everything true in the pump but it also has an effect of working as a carrier for that shaft as well as it comes out the gearbox to go into the PTO o shaft into the PTO clutch so it also helps to keep that shaft running true now what's happened that bearing has failed completely that's what the big pile of massy stuff sitting in the bottom of the transaxle is um which that's caused the pump to run sort of skew iffy hence the reason we've had that loss of uh oil pressure it's not damaged the splines on the shaft which is a very good thing but it has scored and damaged the mating faces in front and behind the rotor and as you can see it's wrecked the motor itself has also put a bit of damage on the end of the shaft but on the plus side that's on a on a brass bush so that's not a big issue our problem is now and i really really want to thank the ford big six tractor register for all the help including um the man himself that set it up who has messaged me today with some useful links i need to give him a message back so i don't know if he watches these videos but thank you very much for your help um basically the guy doing the job he's as you would gone to new holland to price this pump i'm not saying what it the price of it but the price for the pump is what i'd budgeted for the price of the job which he agrees uh, you know we were on i'm right there so it's kind of double double the price of the job overnight because uh, there's a lot of labor involved in that as you can probably tell um so we're just we're just exploring av avenues at the moment um he's got well he's approached a massive Fergie dealer because that gearbox was also available on the big masses of the same age uh he's also approached um the pump manufacturer because what another quite weird and useful bit of useless bit of a bit of information uh, although the, the gearbox is the funk power sh if transmission is an American transmission but the oil pump which is part of the transmission is actually made in the UK see we do still make stuff in this country uh, say that transmission it's also available like I said in big masses of the time Possibly, I don't know. I don't think they were on vultures. They're definitely on big masses. Uh, they were in obviously the seventy series, a newer version of mine. Um, Challengers were running them. The I think Terrogators were running them as well. So it's not just out of my tractor. So we're hoping to get somewhere on that. But that's kind of where we're up to with it. I say I, I was hoping to do this video as big and veal as she rolls out of his yard to go down the road in a big cloud of black smoke all singing pretty but yeah things are just going to plan so and the other thing that's just not going to plan if you watch that lot up there it's all moving it's all windy which kind of ruins my idea of sh of the you higher height it's got a treat in it oh it's in there now I'm treating myself to something decent because I'm tired of having the cheap ones that break all the time. I hope this is what I think it is. Yep, that's the wrong one. 
Now this is what's holding that in? Okay, it's got a snap ring in it. There we go. There we go. Hold on a second. So this is actually a uh, tap spun. There we go. For tapping out or reaming out holes. Uh, I'm going to say it's a quality one. You can see there. It's made by a company called Sterret. And Sterret is... Easiest way to describe Sterret. Sterret is to... Like engineers and uh, machinists what snap-on is to mechanics. Very, very high quality, American-made, supposed to be very good quality tools. Do you want to see the other thing in the box? We've got an air bomb. We bought a drone. Now. Hold on. Sit there. We will do a proper video on this. But yes, we actually have a drone for the channel. Wasn't expensive, I say. As most of you guys know, these drones, are, Christ, 500 quid up to a couple of grand. That was 60 quid. So it'd be interesting to see how we get on with that. But yeah, that's that's kind of where we're up to with me 8830. She hasn't been sold. She is being repaired. We have it a bit, quite a big stumbling block, but we are... We're going for it. We're committed with it. I did look into upgrading her to 40k, but I, th I think that's going to be a step too far. But she will be back in action, and hopefully we're not too big a bill. So, there you are. Quick glimpse, and it is only a very brief, brief glimpse, I apologise, of the Smurf, the 8830. She's still with us, and she's still alive. So... Thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, maybe not quite like, the most interesting video and maybe not the video I was hoping it was going to be, but hopefully next week or so, keep your eyes peeled for the return of the Smurf.